by an absolute miracle, some of those girls managed to escape on that horrifying night. But even for them, this nightmare isn't yet over. One of them has agreed to speak to us, but she's asked that we don't identify her in any way, that we don't give away her name, her family house, anything that could bring about what she fears the most, that the kidnappers could come back for her. He said, go uh, enter this car. What kind of cars? A big lorry. Was it one or more? Seven. Seven lorries? Yes. And this was at 10 o'clock at night? In the night. So did, did that make you feel that they had come to get you, to get the girls? Yes. That's when you knew that they'd come to kidnap you? Yeah. He said, OK, we enter this lorry. We go, we go. So I said, I will drop down. That was really brave of you. Yes, we are driver. We ran in the bush. You ran in the bush? Yes. And and what happened then? We are run, we are run, we gone. Can you describe the men that came and took you? What did they look like? Were they wearing civilian clothing or un military uniforms? What were they wearing? I, I, don't, I don't know this one. But what, what was their dress? What, what were they wearing? I feel, feel afraid. Did they look like soldiers? Yes, we are looking afraid. You feel afraid? Yes. You don't want to talk about what they look like? No. It's okay. I understand. I understand. I'm sorry.